This is Africa. And this is the total number of nuclear reactors built on the entire continent. Despite nuclear power's advantages and utilization in other parts of the world, no country in Africa has built a nuclear reactor since 1984. Until now. In 2023, Uganda's president Yaori Museveni announced plans to build the country's first ever nuclear reactor, with a timeline set for it to begin generating electricity in 2031. Yet the country is already self-sufficient in terms of energy, as it currently produces far more electricity than is required every year. So why does a country in this position want to double its generating capacity when so little is already used, and spend billions of dollars in doing so? This is the story of Uganda and its quest for nuclear power. Nuclear power is something that hasn't really been associated with Africa. The continent's only nuclear power station is the Coburg plant in South Africa and was built all the way back in the 1980s. But now, other countries want to join the party. Egypt is building four 1200 megawatt reactors on its Mediterranean coast, whilst others like Algeria and Nigeria have both stated plans to build such infrastructure. But when we compare these countries to Uganda, we see drastically different pictures. In Uganda, most electricity is produced by hydropower stations or coal, in total representing a capacity of 1,346 megawatts, much higher than the country's peak demand of 800 megawatts, leaving a high electricity surplus each year. So it was a surprise to many when earlier this year the government announced plans to build a 2000 megawatt nuclear facility which would more than double the whole country's total electricity capacity. The two planned 1000 megawatt reactors will be built in Boyende, 150 kilometers from the capital and will connect to the grid by 2031. And whilst an exact budget hasn't been made public, Estimates come round to a $9 billion figure, whilst a memorandum of understanding exists between Uganda and South Korea to construct the plant. So what exactly is Uganda planning? On paper, Uganda's surplus electricity situation sounds far better than it really is. In Uganda's case, this surplus only exists because demand for electricity is so low. The country has one of the lowest electrification rates in Africa, with only 45% of the nation having access to electricity. This means that over 25 million people in the country live without access to electricity and rely on off-grid solutions like biomass sources for cooking and heating. But the government is looking to change this, with plans to invest $4.8 billion into transmission infrastructure over the next 20 years to target both urban populations and rural communities. This untapped future demand will need generation capacity, and lots of it. But even the prospect of 25 million new people added to the grid doesn't represent the larger source of future demand. Uganda's economy, like many other sub-Saharan countries, has traditionally been dominated by the agricultural sector. But in 1992, President Museveni made a landmark speech discussing the need for the country to move away from an agrarian economy that sells cheap primary commodities, marking a shift towards industrialization. But it was not until the early 2000s when the country's manufacturing industry began to grow substantially. In the last two years, manufacturing output from Uganda has increased by over 12% per annum, with the country homing over 5,000 operational industries, with many located in the industrial centre in Jinja City. This location has traditionally attracted industry, due to its strategic location on the Nile and its access to nearby electricity generating plants. The location's close proximity to the prospective reactors in Boyende show the integral role that nuclear energy and the security it brings will play in helping to expand the country's industrialization goals, a factor that will drastically increase the electricity demand in the country. But in addition to preparing for future demand, excess electricity capacity will bolster one of the country's already successful revenue streams, the export of electricity to nearby countries. In 2021, Uganda made $38 million from electricity exports to neighbouring countries like Kenya and Tanzania. 
If the country develops these two nuclear reactors at the Buyende site, it could bolster the nation's role in becoming a key electricity exporter in the region, as well as laying the groundwork to support the upcoming development both domestically and industrially. A development which could see the nation become one of the fastest growing countries in the region. Uganda isn't the only country developing nuclear reactors in the region, with Egypt on track to build four new nuclear reactors by 2030. So if you want to see more on nuclear power and energy projects around the world, comment down below, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be notified of future videos.